well good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are whenever you're watching this hello and welcome to this week's edition of coffee chat with me i'm katherine oster and today we are chatting about being bad being wrong trying to be right good morning you guys Ooh, I can't see who's live with me, but I see it. Oh, hey, Annalise. Good morning. Who are you? How is it going? <sighs> okay. So I basically want to talk with you guys about judgment. Hi, Ross. And um, good morning, Laura. Lori, sorry. Good morning, Lori. It's so good to have you live with me today. Thank you guys for showing up. And joining me for this conversation okay so are you willing to be judged as a bad person as the messy person as a dirty person who doesn't have their shit together <laughs> are you willing to be judged as a terrible wife good morning mom hey guys whatever you are not willing to be judged as is going to control you and limit your choices. Good morning, Linda. And so if you are not willing, I'm going to, I'm going to take a messy house. For example, if you are not willing to be judged as a dirty person with a messy house that doesn't have their shit together, you're going to be, cleaning your house because you are not willing to be judged as that person. Now, that used to be me actually, like totally. Mind you, I still keep a pretty tidy house, but I don't clean it nearly as much as I used to. And I choose to keep it tidy because that is a space that actually um, is very generative to me. Um, before I used to force myself to clean my house because I decided that that is what a really good person did. And so I always strove to be that good, perfect person. But what that ended up creating in my life was just a lot of force and effort <laughs> and not so much fun. So I was choosing something from judgment, like from the not willingness to be judged as a dirty person, a messy person, um, and from wanting to be judged, I wanted people to judge me as a good person. That was, I did a good job, you know, that's another thing. So, um, so that. So another thing that really has came up for me a lot is with my body. So I used to judge my body um, a lot for not being the correct size or the correct shape. And what does correct mean anyway? Well, it's what somehow I saw this image that people kept telling you need to have a healthy body. And if you have a healthy body, it's this size and it's this shape. And if you know, if you don't have a healthy body, well, it's this. And I really wanted to have a healthy body. And so I would force my body into different workout programs or diets and it would create change like i would achieve change in a few months but it was never a lasting change and i would get so frustrated and go into more judgment of that my body was wrong and that i was wrong and i'm just gonna have a bad body <laughs> and finally after years of that struggle I would say the last, over the last year, I've just been more allowance with my body, grateful with my body for how she is, how she always shows up for me. You know, my body can do really amazing things and I've just kind of got to the space of allowance with it, which was so freeing actually, where I could look at her and just be grateful and like, cool, this body is actually pretty cool. Now I'm actually choosing um, a workout program like private Pilates sessions with a really great instructor from the energy of becoming greater with my body. Um, one thing I love to do is ride horses and, 
and do dressage and I aspire my target is to ride a Grand Prix dressage test in this lifetime and I could see where in order to really be to choose that I could make my body stronger in certain areas and so I could actually that could actually become a reality and so I started choosing I just you know went for my first session this yesterday actually um and it was so good and I felt so energized after I wasn't tired it was a really good workout I could definitely notice some muscles after but there was no pain it was like good feeling tired energized slightly achy muscles from working but not painful and not forceful and I've never actually experienced that before and I'm like wow I'm actually choosing something with my body that's not from judgment that is actually just something that is going to make us greater ha huh, it's a totally different energy it was like a big aha moment for me anyway that and one thing that I know that has led me to achieve this you know this communion with my body is what I would call it is getting my bars ran <laughs> Oh my God, and, and like dissolving those judgments that I was aware of that were all around me that I perpetrated on myself about my body. Getting my bars ran has allowed me to just like go beyond the judgments. Let those judgments go. Let go of those decisions and those conclusions. That's what I talked about last week on Coffee Chat. Hey, Nicole! is um how when you when just when you're in a big conclusion about how something has to show up how that also limits your choice and then how judgment also limits your choice and creates a lot of force and effort in your life um getting your bars ran is one of the most simplest easiest ways to just start living beyond conclusions that things can only show up in your life in a certain way choosing beyond the judgments being I'm I had to be willing to be judged as a fat person or a person with a larger body or I'm probably obese on the body mass BMI scale thingy I had to be willing to to be okay with that does that mean my body's wrong no it just means that whatever this society has deemed as a healthy good body I don't fit into that but that doesn't mean it's not that you know and so finally just getting to that space so good get your bars red <laughs> it's gonna totally give you more space with that um <clears throat> anyway what starts to happen i run this program called the daily dose and, and every day we get together in a facebook group and we we have conversations and run some energy clearing statements to also you know clear the energy around these judgments you have in your life or that you are aware of and one of the ladies in there was like, Catherine, help. Um, I don't really want to clean my house anymore because I don't have a point of view about it. <laughs> like she was noticing where she also cleaned her house from, from judgment. And I'm like, now it's a choice. Now you just have choice. You know, we, we have like judgments are also motivators in our lives. When those judgments start to go away, um, then you're just choosing from what's actually going to create greater for you. And then you actually have choice. So that's really cool. And so I wanted to let you, hey, Lynn, let you guys know I'm still offering free bar sessions once a week to anybody who has never had their bars run before. If this is you and you want to come to my place, I live near St. Wahlberg, I will be happy to book you in for a bar session. For free if you've never had your bars run before and if you have had your bars run before and you want to have a bar session with me I'm offering a special price um, to the end of December so send me a message we can set up a bar session for you and you know you can start to start to go beyond what you that <laughs> wherever you'd like to change something in your life and I'm also facilitating a bars class next week on Friday, October 28th in Bonneville, Alberta with some pretty amazing people, Annalise, Robert and Jackie and I, the four of us, I've never facilitated a bars class with four 
facilitators before, but I think it's going to be too much fun. So whatever you do, don't choose that. And in that one day class, you learn all about access bars and running them and receiving them. And um, you can, you're actually a practitioner after one day and you can start running other people's bars or however that's going to show up for you. It's such a gift, huge gift. Um, and then I'm doing talk to the entities. <laughs> so a Halloween weekend, we're going to have talk to the entities intro on Friday night and then a two day beginning class, which I mean, what can the spirit world contribute to you? I wonder. So if you've got any questions about these classes, um, send me a message. I'm happy to answer any questions for you, get you more information or reach out to Annalise if you know her or Robert or Jackie. Yeah. And the classes are all on my Facebook page, so you'll see that. But anyway, what else is possible beyond what you could ever imagine? And how does it get better than this? And I wonder how much fun you could have today. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so grateful for you. And, um, yeah, have an amazing day wherever you are, whatever you're up to. Mwah. Until next time. Bye-bye for now.